So this is the Petri V2 dot mod. This is the 22 millimeter Mac. Okay, right over here. I got my uh, Narda on there. So. So what's going on guys? This is Dominic, I am your host. This is the Vape and Rhino. Right here, consider click and subscribe. Today we're gonna talk about a mech mod, okay? Put some uh, Vape Wild Summer Solstice in there. And uh, these uh, have been really disappointing when I first got them, but they've been steeping three weeks right now and the flavors are just popping right now. They're not 100% full intensity, but I'm enjoying this particular flavor called Summer Solstice. 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 Stis. Solstice. Summer Solstice. Woo! Right on. But anyway, it's got a pineapple high end flavor added. And again, these are just, man, it's been really disappointing in the beginning. They were just beautiful vape, but just no flavor at all. But now, after three weeks, I'm actually getting some really cool flavor, and I've been uh, specifically enjoying this particular flavor. So, but anyway. So, this, uh, everybody knows Dot Mod. These are some high-end company out of California all their products are manufactured in China but uh, I got this this is, this is not my style um, I like rugged stuff you know what I'm saying but I got this for my girlfriend and I think I made a mistake because it is a mech mod and it is a hybrid connection uh, now I have plenty of RDAs that can go on here that are a hybrid connection that's not the problem but the problem is this top cap and what it does to the top of the battery, to the positive side of the battery. And I will show you that as soon as we bring it down. But uh, my thing is, I'm just, you know, I'm really concerned about allowing my girlfriend to use this because if anything were to happen, I would feel deeply, 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 deeply regretful, you know. So um, I don't know if anybody else is having this problem. So uh, I'm just making this review. Hopefully, if somebody does, you know, they can shoot me a message and let me know. Okay? So, we're going to take this baby down, and I'll tell you what I experienced with this in, from my personal use. See you down. Or, see you when I get back up. What's going on, guys? So, <clears throat> today for you, I have, this is a be short because this is a mech mod. There's really nothing to go through over a mech mod, but, uh, you know, gold... Uh, stating that the color on the inside okay a little information on there the Petri V2 by Dot Mod okay designed by Dot Mod in California but manufactured in China okay just very simple package this is a common Dot Mod package and you open it up big beautiful logo right there all right and you have your uh, tube mod right there okay this gives you a little extra spring right in there for your button and I, mean, I can't ever take out my nails and a little certificate of authenticity so it says 0650 but here's the thing there's no way on this mod and I've looked you know there's a little logo on the back I don't know if you could see that there's a lot of shh right there so there's the the dot mod uh, logo on the firing button really nice I mean really smooth firing button uh, even though it's a spring, but I mean, it's the setup that they have is really, really, really super nice. But there's no reference on the mod itself that coordinates with the serial number. So to me, I mean, in any case, this is kind of useless to me because, okay, so the box basically has a serial number. I mean, there's not even, uh, I don't know. I, it's kind of stupid in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? So you these high-end mods... You know, uh, how do you know you're getting the original thing if it doesn't even say it anywhere on the actual mod itself? You know, and I've looked, and I'm going to take this apart. Okay? I mean, there is zero in there information. I mean, there is no numbers at all.
I even tried to look <laughs> in this logo with a magnifying glass. There's nothing on there. You know, so the way this works is that uh, there's, uh, even though that fire button is recessed, the reason for that is because the dot mods, their design is this whole gasket floats. Okay, so there's a spring around this gasket and then there's a spring in the firing button. Okay, and the reason is for that is that when the battery sits inside the mod, you see, that helps eliminate the rattle inside the mod that you get a lot from the from the mac mods so this they came up with this so this raises the battery and keeps it seated until you shoot the firing button right up there okay and that firing button then makes contact with the battery so basically once you screw this in this is going to just squeeze all the way down into the mod and that'll keep that battery from jumping up and down Okay, so you can remove this pin. Obviously, you you know you would have to hold this and unscrew that. There is a little Allen key that you can unscrew that and take it all apart for cleaning, of course, or replacing the spring because it does come with two springs, you know, with the different tensions on them. Uh, but here's he, here's the thing that got to me, and I hope that this happens right now. But um, let me just put this back on there because this is a uh, very disturbing for me because I'm really neurotic about my batteries and safety, okay? So this is playing, it's got this uh, Delrin uh, inlay right in there and it's smooth, there's nothing protruding, super smooth. This is an aluminum alloy mod, uh, super light. You know, obviously now I have the battery in there, but anyway, when I screw the top off, okay, so now you see me screwing, watch this, you see? It pulled the battery out. So basically what's been happening is this battery, it's so snug in there, but I have noticed that some of my batteries, actually not this one, because this is a brand new one. Let me just, uh, let me just go get the other. Okay, sorry guys, I had to come back. I just wanted to grab um, the other battery to show you, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, if I can get it to. right there you see that see what it's doing and you can actually see the metal i don't know if it's going to show up on video but it's slicing the the protection on the battery against problems like this especially in a mech mod the most dangerous of all mods okay and to have a high-end product do this that is a huge con for me and i bought this mod for my girlfriend and i don't know if i'm gonna allow her to continually use this this battery i mean you see that too snug in there and it is cutting at my batteries and uh there was another battery that it was doing this too let me see I just can't find it or it's one of my mods that I just can't find right now and uh, I just wanted to show it to you because I thought it was you know maybe my battery was already like that blah, blah, but I had just recently within like a week ago I bought these uh, batteries and um, so uh, anyways I was just not happy about that and um, I don't know if it's just this one that's doing this. I mean, I try to look at it to see if there was some kind of a dent in there, but there really isn't because otherwise this thing would not screw on here perfectly because the threads on this is super, super smooth. I mean, it, the machining is nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's, yeah, just a little play in there with the threads. I mean, they're not perfect. They're not perfect because See, that should not be jiggling in while it's being threaded if they were perfect. I mean, and to be honest with you, my, see, so that is not 100% perfect. I would say this is about 85% perfect, you know, smooth, but it's, there's play in the threads. There's play in the threads for sure. See, you could see that move. 
that should not be making that noise if there was zero play in it. So the, the tension on this is not 100% perfect. And this is the thing about paying high money for these uh, high-end mods. And uh, I have always say this. This is your pain for fufu. This is a fufu mod. I'm not saying it's a bad mod. I'm saying it's a fufu mod. Okay, because for this kind of money that you pay for a device like this, an aluminum alloy, I mean, it ain't like a, that it's solid brass or naval brass or high-grade stainless steel, you know? Like my Kingpin from EH Pro is a thousand times better than this and way more safer than this, in my opinion, okay? The threads on my Kingpin do not make that kind of sound, okay? So... I bought this for my girlfriend, but I am uh, really super hesitant about uh, continuing to allow her to use this due to this fact that it's damaging my batteries. Um, so f for your own safety, I would definitely, uh, I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but this is the second battery that it did this to. Let me just zoom that in one more time. I just can't find my other battery right there. See that? And you can see the metal showing through. Not good, guys. Not good. Be careful using mech mods. And this is a spanking brand new battery. Brand new. And as you can see, if you guys watch all of my videos, you will never see a scratch on any of my batteries. Ever. Because I keep them brand new. I constantly rewrap them. Because I love my face and it's going to stay nice. You know, I'm not going to have anything happen. You have to be careful, especially when you're using mechs. So dot mod, I'm not happy. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic. I am the Vic and Rhino. And uh, so anyway, the dot mod. Well, I showed you. Uh, I showed you what the problem that I was having. And uh, this is just like I said. Um, I'm sorry, the table shakes. I know the camera is shaking over here. I still haven't figured out a good setup. But um, anyways, um, I'm a bit concerned. I'm just a little, little, little bit concerned about this. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm kind of pretty hesitant about uh, using this. And uh, oh, at least allowing my girlfriend to use it. That's all. I'm, I, I just would hate if anything were to happen. I would feel deeply sorry. And uh, it, there would be nothing I can do about it at that point. So the only thing I can do about it is not allow her to use this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. And I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, I, I try to do some research out there and uh, <clears throat> no one has reported this problem. And it's, so I got to believe that either it's just this particular mod. So I'm going to try to write to dot mod and I'm going to see what they have to say about it. You know, I mean, otherwise it is a nice mod. She actually does love it. And, uh, but... Maybe I should have just gotten the one with the floating pin a little bit safer, you know? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm the Vapor Rhino. Please consider subscribing.